NASA officials are providing an update on the second cancellation of the Artemis 1 rocket launch. Absolutely. I hope you know we're not where we want to be except with the vehicle safe. So we wanted it safe in orbit. It's not there. It's safe on the ground. Um, I'm going to kind of give you the big picture of where we're headed with the launch periods. Um, and then I'll let uh, Mike fill you in on some of the things that happened today. Um, Charlie Blackwell Thompson is back in the Launch Control Center with her team, um, working through some of the next steps that the mission management team asked her to do today. Um, so we launch period 25 is definitely off the table. We won't be launching, uh, you know, this period ends on Tuesday. We will not be launching uh, in this launch period. Um, launch period 26 and 27 will really depend on the options that the team comes back with likely on Monday uh, or early Tuesday morning, and Mike will talk through those options with you. Uh, one thing I'll point out is we will deconflict with Crew 5, so there is an overlap with our uh, next launch period and the time frame when Crew 5 wants to go, we, we need to make sure we deconflict with them. So that will weigh into, uh, into what we do. And then as we get into launch period 27 uh, in the latter part of October, um, we will uh, be looking at a lot of things, our limited life items, um, our stay on the pad durations that we have. And, uh, and of course, we're always looking at, at weather uh, as, a, as a general course of action for some of the storm activity that can be out there. Um, I, I'm sure there's going to be a question of, are we confident? Right? I actually love that question because it's like, are you confident you were going to get out of bed this morning? Um, we're, we're, we don't go into these tests lightly, right? We, we don't just say, hey, we think, we hope this is going to work. Um, the confident, confidence to do another launch attempt today was born out of the fact that uh, we understood the hydrogen leaks that we had on, on Monday. Those are different than the leak that we had today um, in, in terms of scale. One was in the, the same place, but today was a different signature. Um, and we, we understood the engine issue. So we were confident coming into today. But as the administrator said, we're not going to launch till we're ready, which means we're going to step through these things. Um, there's a lot of conjecture already. Uh, I, I can assure you, I don't know how many people are in that MMT room today, Mike, but I don't know, 100, 100 plus folks, most of them engineers, everybody already thinking about what is the problem. And frankly, that's what happens on the loops when we're, um, when we're talking about these things. Folks are giving options. Uh, the anomaly loops are, are really active, especially on this one today, from, from the time we first saw the signature all the way until Charlie made the right decision, which was to scrub. So our confidence comes through what we're gonna learn in this. Uh, when we're ready to go back out there, we'll go back out there and try for another uh, launch. Michael will, will lay out for you what we, uh, what we have in, in between. Uh, I'll, I'll say, this obviously we've talked about this mission being risky but we're going to take the risks that make sense um, the risk that we know that have already pushed the vehicle and the system as far as it will uh, when we launch and uh, and be ready to go at that time